Imagine a world where doctors operated on infants without anesthesia, assuming newborns couldn't feel pain. This was reality as late as the 1980s, and the question of when human consciousness begins remains deeply debated. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we explore the origins of consciousness in humans, guided by neuroscientist Joel Froelich's insights. Does the spark of self-awareness light up at birth or even earlier? Consciousness is the remarkable sense of self-awareness that lets us perceive, reflect, and experience our reality. It remains one of the greatest mysteries of the universe, and despite advances in neuroscience, understanding its origins is still elusive. This enigma is famously encapsulated in the hard problem of consciousness, which questions how physical processes in the brain generate subjective experience. Various theories attempt to address this. Dualism suggests a separation between mind and body, while materialism claims consciousness is purely physical. Global workspace theory posits that consciousness acts as a neural broadcasting system, and integrated information theory believes consciousness emerges from highly integrated and complex informational systems. Yet, even with these theories, the full picture remains incomplete leaving us to ponder the true nature of our own awareness. We often think infants are conscious, but evidence is complex. Studies reveal that infants' neurotransmitters like GABA undergo significant shifts, potentially limiting early brain complexity, which may affect their capacity for conscious experience. According to Integrated Information Theory (IIT), consciousness requires a high level of integrated information. Since GABA functions differently in infants initially acting as an excitatory neurotransmitter before transitioning to its inhibitory role, the infant brain may lack the neural stability needed for conscious awareness. For example, GABA's early excitatory function may contribute to a chaotic neural environment, unlike the organized complexity seen in adults, which is associated with consciousness Additionally, global workspace theory suggests that the neural broadcasting system necessary for consciousness might not be fully developed in infants, further complicating their ability to experience awareness. There's compelling evidence suggesting newborns can form expectations, remember, and react to surprises. For instance, studies have shown that newborns exhibit a startled response when their expectations are violated, such as hearing a sound they didn't anticipate, Techniques like magnetoencephalography (MEG) show integrated neural responses, indicating that newborns' brains are capable of forming connections between sensory experiences. These integrated neural activities hint at some level of awareness emerging right from birth, as the brain demonstrates a rudimentary ability to predict and respond to stimuli. Surprisingly, some signs point to consciousness even in the womb. Studies using fetal magnetoencephalography FME, have shown that developing brains begin responding to unexpected auditory patterns such as changes in rhythm or pitch of sounds played near the mother's abdomen. This suggests that fetuses are capable of some level of sensory processing, hinting at primitive forms of awareness and the early foundations of recognizing and differentiating stimuli. So, when does consciousness truly begin? It's still an open question, but science is taking us closer to understanding this profound mystery. If this topic sparked your curiosity, like and subscribe for more explorations into the mysteries of the human mind. See you next time.